Hey everybody, welcome to the last match of round three between mm -hmm. Randall, Kadir, and Amoeba. I'm main, and I'm with Leaf, and we're going to be commentating this race. Yeah, hopefully it's going to be going to be close. Should be a good one. They are counting down now. All right. Well, all three of these races are pretty close. Um, they've been pretty competitive, so this is anybody's game, I think. Both, uh, all three have put up good times, and I mean, again, you always have to remember that with later rounds, it's it, with more people getting eliminated, people are gonna play a lot more aggressive. So mm -hmm. we might see more aggressive gameplay, especially like you know, 90 minutes in you're like significantly behind yeah like there's nothing to lose at that point um so the thing to it. note also with um with the second place of this race is they they have to beat truly's time of a 210 29 in order to advance so which is doable by all three of these runners so but you never know what's going to happen, but that is something to know. You know, if you're on 207 pace, and the person in front of you is on 206 pace, you know, it, it's not really worth it. And the person behind you is on 211 pace, it's like, it's not really worth it to, like, try to YOLO to get first, so... Because mm -hmm. they just want to try to advance, so... Um... So, see some decent Squirtles. Um, Amoeba obviously has the best one. Um, Randall's is good but it is mild, and Kadir's is not the greatest, but not not too bad. Um, HP and defenses and special defenses are kind of low. So everyone's just walking to the lap to get their Squirtle. And we'll see how the uh, first rival fight goes. So both Randall and Kadir, I believe, are both on emulator, right? Um, I believe so, yes. And I know Mamiba's on console, so... Mm -hmm. But Amoeba Squirtle's about as good as it... I mean, it, about as good as you can get it, for sure. Um, there's no real flaws in it. Um, it is nice being 30 as well. When you're 30, you don't really have to worry about or think about trying to get... Trying to do Josh and get Carbos, you just... Or you, you still get Carbos, but you don't have to worry about doing Josh and getting Bubble and stuff. You just, you're always gonna outspeed Sabrina with, with Carbos, so it's kind of a nice speed. Whereas when you're 29 or 31, you, you're, you're more incentivized. And I've said yeah. before, I, I don't, I think doing Josh in a tourney race is kind of, kind of scary. There's just more things to think about if you're 31, so it's just nice if you're 30 to uh, just be able to focus on other stuff. Not something else something also to note about Randall's Squirtle, <clears throat> although it is a good one, he does have a problem with HP, where he's at an HP where he gets a plus 3 at sort of a bad time in Brock's gym. So unless he goes for bubble, he's going to have to... I mean, it's dangerous, because he's going to level out of Torrent for the Geodude, which means that he's either going to risk the 50-50 of getting hit, or just commit to potioning. It's not the best HP in the world. In normal runs, you would you would just go one health underneath, so normally the Squirtle would go to six, because it's mild, you would go to five and then just risk scratch, but in a race, you can't really risk a scratch death, so... He's gonna. Randall's gonna 100% try to do, try to get bubble, regardless of like whatever he encounters. I mean, he's gotta kill these pitchies. All right, all three encounter pitchy. Amoeba's also going for the pitchy kill and gets gets the range. When you have uh, when you have over 21 attack, it's it's very you have a good chance to three shot the pitchy. But it can still, you can still miss it, but generally speaking, most runners will try to avoid Pidgey um, if you can, because it only knows Tackle, it's going to hit you every time, 
you know, lots of bad things can happen with, you know, get you, it can crit you and, and you can miss tackle and you can get four turns and miss, the, you know, miss the three shot and it, it's not the greatest. Although these runners do have access to a decent amount of potions in this split, um, playing extremely safe. Kadir is the only Kadir is the only Squirtle here that like I I'm not the biggest fan of. It's it's kind of um, there's a few marks that are a little too low. It's it's a, obviously HP. You you want your HP in a race if you can as high as possible because it just makes makes getting torrent a lot easier. Um, it it's also a safety thing having more health. I mean, this, it's it's still a good Squirtle, but I mean, defense is a little low. Um, you're, you're especially on Rival Two. Kadir's going to run into some issues because the Pidgeot, both the Pidgeotto and and the Bulbasaur are going to be doing the maximum amount of damage to you. Um, so there's situations where you're, you can just get potion locked if you get unlucky. So. And I've always been a fan of Mild, but Mild does run into problems on in certain areas. Um, the only thing that Mild doesn't really run into problems with is is Misty. Um, getting confused is definitely you can lose a lot of time, um, and you can also die. So you want her to be going for uh, for Swift? Yeah, because basically going into Misty as a Mild, you're you're pretty much going to get hardened majority of the time turn one so then even if and it's going to pulse you turn two so if you get confused on that pulse you have your person and then when you transition to the starmie you're going to be getting swift majority of the time like they're almost guaranteed so uh all right so Ami amoeba catches a rat amoeba's health is a little low um but it's not the end of the world he gets another rat will he he might go for a bubble, but okay, that's a. I think that's a one person encounter. Yeah, so Mamiba's health is pretty low here. Um, he's gonna have to attack again here, and it's actually not gonna be guaranteed. I don't think. Oh, okay, that works. Um, when your health is a l this low, it's a, it can be a little scary because crit there just kills him and he goes back to bomb, which is pretty slow. And, oh, Randall's got a level five bird as well. That's uh, he's going for it. Okay, that should be guaranteed, Morning. but he's gonna have to. Yeah, level five bird can be pretty problematic. Um, it's very unlikely to get. I believe it's one percent, um, but it does have sand attack, and it does outspeed you a lot of the time, so yeah, Randall's gonna have to potion here, um, which means he will most definitely pick up the forest potion. Um, well, there's two, but pick up the one that's kind of out of the way. So... But yeah, he is smart, obviously, to... You have to potion here. Um, okay, so that's, that's gonna be... I don't believe that that's 78%. That's probably gonna be 62. Yeah, it's but 62. Though. He gets it though, which is good. I think if it's yellow, then it's 78. Well, yellow, or 78 is like one health above, like half is kind of how I look at it. Um, but he could have he could have attacked again um, for guarantee for probably guaranteed so. Randall's, so Randall's feed is the only one that's kind of lagging at the moment. I don't know. I don't know why, but but Randall did get bubble. Um, so the only thing that Randall needs to worry about now is um, for the gym. Assuming he gets poisoned and everything goes normally, um, is missing the Geo Dude range, um, which is very likely. But and again, these these runners are always going to have a potion entering the gym. Um, if you don't, it's, I mean, you, you have to have one because in any percent, the gym is one of those things where you can, uh, you can lose a lot of time and or die um, a majority of the time. So yeah. 
sand true plus missing the range on onyx if he hits you yep so amoeba is actually gonna amoeba's also gonna have to amoeba's gonna have to push in bef either before the fight or during um He's, I mean, Amoeba, Amoeba is not going for... See, this is kind of risky, in my opinion, but we'll, we'll see what happens. But Amoeba is actually not going for the um, second potion off to the right, um, which I don't personally agree with, because it's a little scary. Um, if he has to use his, his only potion on this fight, if he happens to get crit or get a lot of damage, then he's going to be entering the gym with no potions, which is can be very, very bad. Um, so Amoeba's obviously gonna hope for not a lot of damage and maybe late poison. Um, but again, this, these runners wanna, they're trying to play aggressively, but this is one of those splits where so many bad things can happen that, I mean, you'll see them save for basically every trainer in here. Um, yeah, there's always okay. a risk. So he gets, on. Oh, see, he missed point. He missed tackle too. Yeah, so he's poisoned. Okay, so he should still be okay. Um, he obviously doesn't want to see poison sting right now. Um, he wants to see string shot, so he's getting it, which is good. Um, okay, Kadir gets crit. Kadir has torrent. Okay, so Kadir's risking the crit here, um, but he does have bubble, so this should be fine. Um, he just needs to not get crit here. All right, he gets one in sixteen. All right, so Kadir's not poisoned. Um, but he's at 6 health, so 6 health is totally fine. Um, it's gonna be 1 health above where you would normally go with the Squirtle, but um, it's perfectly fine. It's, it's gonna give him Torrent, so... So, because of Amoeba's HP uh, EV being 24, he's gonna be going to 4 health instead of normally 5 here. Um, because he gets a plus three for the next level. So some notable things in this gym that can happen that are not standard. Um, again, you're entering with a potion, so it's gonna be pretty safe, um, but bad things that can happen. Um, obviously you don't want the Santru to scratch you. Um, scratch is only a one in 16 to kill you, but a normal scratch is just forces you to commit to healing, um, which can be pretty slow, and depending on what the Onyx does. Um, uh, you can also get Sand Attack from the Sand True, uh, which can be very unlucky if you happen to have a blind Squirtle, um, which happens sometimes. <laughs> Um, but it's a very, it's a favored range to two-shot the Sandshrew, so norm normally, normally you would see a good bubble roll here, um, into something like Defense Curl, or Sand Attack, and then you just hit the second bubble and, and don't min roll, and then, but he gets the crit, the greatest, one, this, that is the single, one of the single greatest crits in the game. That is really, really, really good. Alright, could you run to Brock? Gonna be saving for us. I believe Kadir has one catch, which is why he's ahead of Amoeba. Um, Amoeba has both. Right. Well, we'll see. We'll see here. I think he, yeah, he has one. So Amoeba has a lead here by a good amount. Um, Randall's getting a little trolled. Um, he didn't. He didn't end up getting torrent. Um, Got the speed drop. Oh, Kadir has to heal though, okay. So he must have gotten Scratch. Okay, Amoeba's going, Amoeba going for Withdraw there. Okay, that's, um... I like the play. Um, it's a little dangerous, um... But it is actually good here, because he should almost have a guaranteed kill here, unless he gets crit. Um, basically, Withdrawing on the Geodude allows you to, um... If you can avoid taking tackle, which is a 50-50, then you can basically bubble twice and always. And even if you miss the range, you, you can still win the fight outside of getting crit. So it's it's a really nice play. the The problem is it can backfire if you happen to get tackle after withdraw, 
and then you have to commit to the range, and then if you miss the range, you have to heal. But the issue with that is you're healing after you're healing at plus one defense, which means that getting back into torrent range is going to be really hard and really slow. So, um, so I would say of the three runners, um, Amoeba's run is definitely the best by a, a good margin. Um, this is a really, really good time. Um, Alright, let's see how Onyx goes for Randall. Fine. So the tackle there is just to make the range more likely? Yeah, I don't agree with the tackle there. Because um, a lot of times, even if you tackle to weaken the Onyx, you can still miss the range. So I, I probably would have bubbled there instead, but it, he, it doesn't, he doesn't get punished for it, which is good. Yeah. Um, it increases the range, it doesn't uh, guarantee it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you can even miss the range after two tackles. Um, so, the, I mean, generally the safest thing, I mean, it's it obviously sucks when you're trying to take damage to crit the bubble or speedfall the bubble, but it is the safest option to guarantee that you're going to two-shot it. Um, So Randall, Randall definitely had the worst luck of the three. Um, obviously, not getting not getting poisoned can be pretty slow. So he also doesn't have torrent for the next level, so he's gonna have to risk Colton. Whereas Amoeba does have torrent. Um, I believe he has torrent for 15, 14, and 15, which is really good. Um, I mean, Amoeba's got the perfect setup here. He's got both pokes, he's got Torn for 15. Um, he's got a very reasonable reason. He's got a good, he's a, he's got a good shot to do Rocket here. Um, he's gonna be out of, he's gonna be in one in 16, uh, one in 16 Hyper Fang range, but it is, it is perfect. He just, he's not, he's not pressured to do Josh being 29 or, or 31. Um, so you'll probably see Amoeba do Rocket here. But he could play it safe and do Hiker. Uh, he does have a good lead, but considering the risks, some of the risks he took on the split, I guess I'm assuming he's going to do the correct play and do Rocket here. So Randall's going to hope here that he gets get some tackle from the last uh, from the last Caterpie he just needs one I'm pretty sure yeah I mean you'd like to see both you'd like to see two um, oh, I think I think I actually know I think he takes three here he takes three here so oh yeah uh, yeah one should be fine Oh, he killed it. Oh no, that's not good. Oop. He, he, tunnel, he tunnel visioned, okay. It happens. Um... <gasps> oh god, I thought Randall hit some weird trainer. Get Randall's, Randall's <laughs> feed is just... I, I thought he hit the... Like, he didn't go down and hit the... Um, Pidgey girl. Or the Rattata girl, whatever. Amoeba doing the guaranteed pass, last pass, nice. that poker guy figured out. Um, you never want to hit that girl, um, but it, I mean, if you hit her, it's not the end of the world, but it, it is, it can be pretty slow. Um, basically, she has a Jigglypuff that, if you're not in Torrent, is a three shot, and it knows Sing, and it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not great. Uh, Amoeba also doing an early repel here. The Jigglypuff does give enough XP though, right? To make no. you avoid one of the trainers, or is it just not enough? So if when you hit when you hit the Puff Girl, um, you basically need to go into the grass um, where the cutters are, and you just have to. Generally, you're gonna have to kill two, two or even sometimes three uh, extra Pokemon to get the experience. Um, okay. Kadir getting a little trolled here. Um, <laughs> getting, 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 getting puff. puff. Um, so 
So I was correct, Amoeba is doing um, Rocket. It's, it's one of the reasons why taking Squirtles with certain defense... Okay, he's also saving too. I mean, I like this. This is a good idea too. Yeah. Um, now, normally, again, you have the revive here, so but you, you generally don't want to use the revive here. So I think uh, this is really smart. Amiibo's run is, is quite good right now, so the yeah. fact that he's saving and has a revive is probably smart. Um, but again, he's he's out of range here, um, but obviously anything can, you know, crit, anything can happen. But man, Amiibo's run is is quite good. Uh, yeah. Looking Looking spicy. This is... I mean, I'm almost sure this is like at, at least 26 pace, Misty. This is this is really good. I mean, this is this is like how you would want. This is the setup you would want. Everything he's done is like an any percent run almost. Like, yeah, this has been really solid. I think everyone got Persim as well, right? Yeah, Persim is basically required. Um, even as mild, it's it's super unlikely to to. Um, to get, I mean, it's basically one turn to get confused as mild. So like, you would never, you would really never get it in any percent unless you had like a god run or you were scared. Because again, the, the issue with Persim is you do lose time um, on de-equipping it, and Randall almost hits the hiker. That's a little scary. But I guess the hiker wouldn't have been the end of the world. Yeah. Um, it's a very rare chance for him to hit you, I believe. He has to move like twice to the right. You can. Well, it, well, it's more no, it's more so he has to move up. Um, like if he moves up again, but you can always re you can usually react to him. So, yeah. Randall doing some weird movement. It's okay. Randall's got to get not get flustered here. Right, let's see how Rocket goes. It's quite laggy. So, so the ni again, the nice part about tourney races is that again you're gonna take a squirtle that's gonna be super super good because you don't have to take anything you have as much time as possible before your race to to pick a good one so you can save a ton of time like ex for an example like amoeba running high defense has allowed him to do rocket and and then you know he took damage from rocket and got the range and his high hp is also helping him to have torrent for the next level at 17 here which is really good he crits the grimer wow <laughs> Lovely. Dear God, Amoeba's run is actually insane. He's this could be. Climb. This is. I mean, if he gets the range here. Well, okay, he I'll missed the range, me. but. I think I think this is just Amoeba's. Um, if you notice, Amoeba had a picked a Squirtle that was really really late, like a super late frame. Um, which is kind of funny that when you look when you look at like the difference between I think it was like 14 minutes or something or something crazy, but um, Oh, he does miss the range here, which kind of sucks. Ooh, poison. Um, but it's not the end of the world. Um, it's still just double potion for a nice HP nice. Oh. So he's what he what Amoeba's gonna do is because he has both pokes, he's gonna allow the Squirtle to faint um, and then he's gonna revive it with the rare candy. Um, so he can save a menu. Um, it, it, do, it does force him to use another potion, but... Yeah. Um, it's less time, because they're already in the menu anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, the issue here is if you have to catch a cutter and you get poisoned here um, on that last turn, um, it's pretty slow, but... Yeah, I mean, Amoeba's pace right now is is 25. I mean, he's he's got 20... This is 25 Misty pace, for sure. Which is in a race is pretty crazy, um, but there's just really nothing wrong. Nothing's gone really wrong for Amoeba's early game. I mean, getting getting the Santru crit and the Grimer crit is like crazy. Um, I mean, obviously this poison gas, poison hit on the missing the range. I mean, that was an unlucky coughing for sure. Um, yeah, he he could he could center as well, um, which actually wouldn't be the would actually be a pretty good idea because it allows him to. Um, he could potentially not save for Rival 2, and definitely not save for Misty. Um, but I don't, but he's not. But I don't think he's gonna do it here. Maybe he will. And so we just saw Amiibo getting the best move in the game. So we'll see uh, how that treats him later on. Also learning bite, of course. Yeah, there there's certain things in this game that if you happen to mess up, um, 
it's kind of like you can't come back. Uh, not teaching bite is one of those run one of those yeah. where you you you're, yeah. you're, you're you have to have bite. Um, he okay, so he's he walking in the center. Okay, he's just walking in the center. Okay, just for safety. Um, yeah. So basically, what what that will that will ha what, what that'll do is it'll allow him if he happens to die, it'll just it'll spawn him in the center. Um, yeah. Because normally it would be back at Pallet Town. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean centering there is not insane. Um, saving those three potions. Um, it's kind of a weird niche play, but. Um, all right, pulse. Okay. Okay, so there's the confusion. So that's not the greatest thing in the world. Um, this star is insanely troll. There's a lot of a lot of runs get lost to turn to star you pulse confuse. Um, but I believe I believe um, Swift and Pulse are 50-50 here based on defense, so. Okay, so there's the pulse, so don't do it. And he's through. Nice. He's actually he's at a, he's at a very interesting health as well. Oh, oh no, it's a plus three. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a little weird health. Um, that's like just range to die, right? That's. I think this is the best. I mean, this has got to be one of the best misty times um, in the tournament so far. Twenty six oh five. Um, there's a few options for what he could do here. Um, obviously, the safety play is to just potion before the fight. Um, but what he could do is potion during the fight, um, and if he gets things like, uh, if he gets bite, flinch, no quick attack, he's chilling. Um, if he gets bite and then gets damage, he can just potion, and it's, Randall. and again, it's still fine. Randall using up the person there, as well as Kidia. Yeah, they both got, they, I, they both got star you... Star you can all three got star you confused. That's that's pretty bad. Very uh, aggressive star use today. I mean it's 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 sort of funny, but I mean like Amoeba has a, a viable like world record misty time. Like I mean twenty five fifty five is like uh, that you would take that in for going for record. All right, so he is doing what I thought, which is not potioning before the fight. So he's gonna potion now. Um, obviously sand is bad here, but he doesn't get it. Um, so he's pretty much, yeah, he's good here. So he's gonna be under half, um, for, to av avoid, not av completely avoid, but the chance of Leech Seed under half is, is, it's a lot higher when it's over half. So, Sleep Power, okay. So now, he needs to hit the kick. And not get crit. Okay, you're swapping. Oh, that's a, that's a buzzkill. Okay. Yep, that's what happened to me too. Rival two is is very unfortunate. So, it, yeah, but it, it's rival two is one of those fights where a lot, a, a lot of deaths happen on rival two. Um, so now Randall has actually taken the lead based on that, which is a, which is a, a, obviously unfortunate for me. But Randall is actually on over half though. Um, ooh, Randall's actually. Okay, no quick attack, which is good. Okay, he gets flinch here. So now, yeah, there you go. Uh, I think I, we're not. I don't. We're not in charge of changing the audio. I don't think. Ooh, uh oh, Randall's in trouble. Oh, flinch, crit, flinch. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, he bit again. Did he bite oh. again? Yeah. He, well, yeah. yeah. Bite, bite's gonna kill from there. Wow. Randall gets the god fight, and Randall being a chicken and, and biting the Abra. And Amiibo's got a hit. He, okay, he finally hits. Um, nice. Wow. Randall, the ac the absolute nuts of the of the fight. That was that is, bite crit flinch is pretty damn good. Um, I think Amiibo's just in range for absorb death from the Oddish. Oh no, wait, never mind. Ratak has good attack. Still heal. I mean, but I mean, uh, yeah, you have to heal there. Yeah. Uh, even if, even if you, the, the issue is that the annoying thing about this rat is it's it's basically almost always gonna double quick attack you when you mm -hmm. heal. So it's it's definitely slow, but 
You want to be a, at a decent health, because... Oh, weird, weird stuff. Oh, Kadir's doing some weird stuff. Oh, oh he gets with withdraw. Okay. Oh, wow. I mean, that's actually the best... That's the best thing that can happen, because double quick attack there is really bad. Sleep out of but again, it's like you... You try to avoid bad things in this fight happening. Yeah. That's... that's not great. Oh, that's funny, yeah. It, it actually, yeah, Leech Seed can in fact miss. Uh, so I think that reset was a little premature. But the, again, the issue is that a lot of this, like, going into this fight... Um, Oh, I, again, Kadir taking a risk again here. He did get the range, but he's in, he is in Vine Whip range because of his special defense. So he actually can get Vine Whip into death here. But he gets crit Misses. miss. Okay, he's, he can die here. 17 to 20. Ooh, this is 18. Try again? Okay, good. And obviously, it, it can't be understated that the Manip is very difficult and but these runners are gonna have a good amount of time to, to hit it but it just shows that again you you, you want to try to get squirrels that make this fight easier which involve um, good special defense rash and also good neutral defense Skadir had a squirtle that was basically that was the worst squirtle for that fight was the one he is the one he has now Okay, amoeba. I double bite. Amoeba missed. Or he either double bited or he. Yeah. He yeah, missed. I think he double bited. Probably. Got the crit on the second one as well. Just the troll. So Kadir definitely uh, a little behind um, with the trolls that he had on Misty, but. Uh, Amoeba's also at... Well, Amoeba's health is actually not going to be that bad. Um, he's going to be out of absorb range if he happens to miss uh, the next Oddish that he kicks. Um, but if he does miss and get absorbed, he's, he's probably going to have to potion. The, the thing, though, is that Amoeba's a little low on potions. Um, it, it's something that'll happen in a race more frequently compared to like any percent is you're gonna be lower on potions because you're always gonna heal in situations where you can die so especially getting the, the, the poison gas into revive with rare candies forces him to use another potion he's, he's yeah he's definitely a little low on potions um, so now we just head through all the trainers on the bridge and uh, Route 25. Pretty resident sleeper section. Not much can really go wrong. Just uh... Well, in, I mean, in this section, you want to be, you want to try to use up your water guns if you have torrent. Um, which you'll see runners do instead of using your pulses. Kadir misses the kick on Oddish, which is scary. A lot of a lot of runners opt to bite this this first oddish if you can, just because kick is unreliable, uh, obviously, and you you want it you want a little bit more consistency if you can. So Randall will I don't remember what Randall's pass was, but I think Randall goes for the. Uh, oh, what is Randall doing? <laughs> I think Randall Randall mixed up his strats. I think he was he, he forgot that he was not in torrent, so he changed his strat in the, in the millisecond. He was about to do that that hiker <laughs> yeah. there, but I believe as late surge um, when you have torrent, you do that hiker, but when you don't, you have to you do the other one. All right, so Randall doing the pass here. Uh, I think he does double bag manip. I'm not 100 percent sure, but. And I believe Amoeba does the um, the good Shiru pass, but double bagman up for Randall. 
I haven't finished who's talking. Right. Randall, Ra I think Randall just needs to calm down a little bit. I think he's he's a little flustered. His movements. I mean, it, it's expected in a tourney race. You're you're gonna be a little more nervous in, than a practice race, yeah. especially being this far in. Um, uh, you just need to, you know, try to be as relaxed as possible. Okay, Amoeba's not even doing that. Oh no! Oh, oh see? Yes. Oh yeah. my God! Oh wow. no! I don't know what that was. <coughs> that was interesting. Damn. He uh, that so he obviously didn't he 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 missed the input on going right and just ran back down. He yeah. Um, but the thing is is that that's not the actual Shearer pass. Um, the Shearer pass is a start flash, not a bag, not a bag. So. Uh, yeah, he, something weird happened there. Um, I actually thought once he once he once he did the TM case, uh, I actually thought he was gonna go for double TM case, but he he did kind of like a fifty like an in between pass. But again, he he missed the input on right, and yeah, that was not that was not the greatest, um, unfortunately. Dan isn't the end of the world, but I would say Amoeba's Amoeba's bill split has not been the greatest. Um, whereas his both Brock and Missy splits were both incredible, so and insane for a race too. So, um, but he's still he's still he's still fine. Um, All right, Kadir talking to the uh, Onyx Hiker, or the, the non-Onyx Hiker, the other one. The Machop dude. As Randall's screen just says A. Yeah. Very, uh, very good. Reynolds the first one to talk to Bill. Amoeba and, missing uh, the turn frame. Unfortunate. That's okay, Amoeba. It happens. It happens. A lot of times, when you get in a tourney race you, you, and your heart starts racing more, it's like you you start to grip the controller more, and then you know you don't do normal movements. You know. Oh. Amoeba missed the range, but got confusion into uh, auto shutting itself. Doing doing turn frames is one of those things that can be kind of delicate, and if you happen to you know hold the direction too long, then you can just move into it, right? Which is what happened there. Um, he was Amoeba was trying to do a turn frame to grab the orange berry, but he did a full turn and then. Basically, it messes up the cycle of the that that guy that runs up and down. Mm -hmm. So you have to you have to wait for him. Um, which is again, the whole thing was just slow um, and not obviously not optimal. But All right, let's see if Randall can hit the kick on the drowsy. So Randall's at a pretty safe health here. Um, not a whole lot can go wrong here. Um, he does have to be aware of the Raticate is the only issue. Um, if he misses kick, but you just gotta be. I mean, you got, you, you've got you've got revive here, so um, there's obviously a lot of weird niche deaths that can happen. I mean, you can die on the Drowsy in theory, but you can die on. Eradicates, but I definitely think Amoeba has the best Squirtle. Um, I think if I had a little more HP on Randall's um, and maybe 30 speed, but it again, it is mild. So, um, but it, well, actually, yeah, that is the other thing. I believe. I'm not 100% sure based on his HP, but I, at least for early surge, I think this probably tanks two shockwaves. Um, oh yeah, yeah, it should. 
but ne but all through I believe all three of these runners are doing I, I'm, unless well see the thing is is like I well I guess it's too late now but um, you can't I don't think you, you can't really change over routes like this so Randall um, misses the kick um, gets a bunch of torrent and then more pulses it's it's interesting to note though that um, potentially some of these runners may as the as the as they get further and further into the tournament they may switch over to doing early surge because it is it is faster um, although it is not as safe um, but it is faster it, it's slower to do late surge but it's going to be more consistent to do late surge so Kadir getting the boat ticket as Randall gets the bike. So Kadir is definitely a, a decent amount behind. Um, he's gonna have to hope for some bad boat rivals for the next next two train two uh two fights for these guys. So a big difference of late surge and early surge. Uh, late surge does. The boat rival fights with full health and with no super potions, which is kind of scary. Basically, when you're over half or higher health, the the bird or Pidgeotto and and the uh, Ivysaur are both more more inclined to do things like Sand Attack and Leech Seed compared to if you are under half. So this fight, as we've seen in the tournament before, can go very very wrong for late surge runners compared to early surge runners. Basically anytime you see sand attack, you have to swap because you cannot go into the Ivysaur with minus one. But he gets flinched, which is really good. That's what you want, so now he's gonna be kicking here. And he needs to connect a kick. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah, Leech there it is. Oh, he oh. missed! Leech Seed oh, missed! Nice. Oh, and poison. Okay, poison powder. That's that's weird, but that's better than leech seed. Nice. Actually, I think this is perfect because he wants torrent, so this is actually perfect for Rand for Randall. He wants torrent for. Uh... Okay, so he's gonna stall here and take a little damage. Of course, he does not take the damage, but. Yeah, that was a very strange fight for Randall. Um, Leech Seed miss into Poison Powder. Po poison Powder you don't really see very often um, in this fight. Also, wait a minute. Why is Amoeba... What did I miss? Why is Amoeba not full health here? Thought he was late surge. Did he not? Did he not? He must not have centered. Why did he not center? Oh, I don't know what's going on. Maybe he switched. Did he? Did he change strats on the fly? I didn't. I didn't even know you could do that. He just. Oh, crit. crit bite. I thought. Well, I thought he bought. Oh, I really thought he bought more items in the first shop. Okay, maybe. Maybe not. Right. I must have missed yeah. that. Okay, so. Through, through Ivysaur. Oh, he did the- okay, 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 that makes more sense, okay. So, yeah, Amoeba gets insane bite crits, you know, which is great, into being able to bite again is really nice. But Randall's definitely in a good position, but Ame Amoeba did have a good fight, for sure. Say bye to the boat. Okay, Kadir not getting sand is great. Getting a little damage is good. Yeah, Randall's pace is quite good. That getting a good rival, getting a get, I mean, the, the, just the fact that Randall didn't have to swap at all on boat rival, and didn't really lose any time there. I mean, that was really good. So Randall has a pretty good lead here. Considering Amoeba still has still has to do surge.
Randall's one of those runners that, with a, with with enough practice runs, he's very 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 solid in races. When he doesn't eat, when he doesn't hit optionals, Kappa. <laughs> but That's Randall's put up some impressive times in the past couple weeks in practice races and tourney races. So Amiibo really needs a good surge here. And, well, good cans for, for, for one, but definitely a good surge. Okay, that's a good can. Oh, he's... Okay, so he, he, he does YOLO cans there, which is not the craziest thing in the world. Um, because he's right there already, so... Alright, first can. So three cans, so... Basically, YOLO cansing there, not saving and just trying the can is, is pretty good. Because you are those are the first two you check anyways, so you can just recheck them and then just be on the normal. But if you actually hit it, it you do save a good amount of time. But he unfortunately did not get it. But he does get the second one here, which is good. Alright, nice. Alright, Kigir gets the bike voucher as Randall's kicking Oddishes. Messing yeah. up the, the the pass, which happens. So Amoeba's pace here is still pretty good, um, with a clean surge. Let's see how it goes. So surge is one of the most comp was a very very complicated fight, alongside with like Brock. Bruno. A lot of weird stuff can happen. You have to be able to... You have to do the fight enough to know how to deal with weird situations. So right now, he got Shockwave, so this is actually ideal. Um, it's a, it's, gonna, it's gonna allow him to pulse twice. But you never know. I mean, you could get turn one Shockwave here, which would be quite bad. So he does get double team. The only thing to note here is that he could, in theory, double team again, although he's not likely to. See, oh, he, there nice. you go. As, as I say it, crit. It's very random when that happens. So now now the problem is he's going to now now he, he's going to super potion. Sometimes sometimes it just decides to not Oh, oh. wow, is that dead? No. Nope. No, it's Open not vision. dead. He's going to full heal. So he just has, just has to hit this. <laughs> what a weird Come fight, on. dude. What a Hi. weird fight. Wow, that was one of the weirder ones. Not going to lie. That was uh but yeah, it worked. Weird, but it worked. That was okay. There you go. Right, as Kadir is now on uh, Alicia. That was good, though. That was definitely solid. Um, that was just strange. Yeah, it's like one of those things. Like the surge just can just do weird. The AI can just do weird things there. Like in that situation, you're very likely to get your turn one double team, and then after you pulse the right shoe. And hit and connect with it. It's very likely to use shockwave there, which is why again Amiibo went for pulse again, because he, you get hit into shock into torrent, so you can which allows you to pulse again and kill the Raichu. But he decided to decided to double team again, which is weird and doesn't happen a lot. And the problem is two non-torrent water pulses don't don't kill, so. Connecting there was actually bad because it forced a heal, but and then he Critical. crit. That was weird. <laughs> Critical confusion. Oh, Randall's a little low. Um, Randall's probably gonna heal. Yeah, so Randall's gonna heal. So Randall's coming up on the. The Martha fight, which is not the greatest. It's actually, I believe it's actually worse for late surgers as well. Yeah, it's a um, little scary. 
So he's gonna save, yeah. He does have a lead here, so... Even as early surge, this is a fight where you can, in theory... Like, it, it, it happened to Truly in this round. Um, even with a revive, you can still die. Because, again, you're relying on Mega Kick, and Razor Leaf by the Bulbasaur has a higher chance to crit than normal moves. So... Oh, missed um, on the like razor leaf, crit, like kick, kick miss into razor leaf crit just kills, just kills him here. So you gotta just, yep, yeah, okay. Gotta be, I don't know, oh no. Oh, okay, twenty one. He's got a hit. He hits. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah, that is true. True. I, I, I guess I, I didn't actually ask him, but I, I guess with Truly's Martha fight, he didn't save because he didn't realize he didn't have his HM friends alive, so he uh, he risked something that maybe you wouldn't risk if you didn't know. Um, that you could actually use the revive, which he couldn't, so yeah, it which happens too. Um, Once again, Randall's pretty low health, um, but this health this health is fine. Um, only things only things that can do damage now is um, there's a Pidgey that has quick attack, but it doesn't it's not going to do that much. Um, Lenny, Lenny is Lenny is Lenny part of the late late surge? I guess it might it has to be right. No way, he just... yeah. Okay. Right, so all the, all the fights at the moment are pretty, uh... Pretty simple. I mean, the only thing that's dangerous here, um, for Randall is, um, remaining in Rock Tunnel is... The only way he dies is he needs to miss kick and get Poison Powder hit on the Oddish. Um, because at this health, Poison Powder is gonna kill. Um, uh, will he level up before that one? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah I, I, he'll level up, but I think, he, I think he's still dead. I, I, I'd, have to, I'd have to calc it, but I think... Yeah, if it does like 10 or 11 or something. Potentially not, but the thing is, he's gonna have to heal anyways, so... Because he's gonna have to heal for either the Vulpix quick attack, or the Raticate quick attack, so... Yeah, I mean, Randall's just super low. Like, he's been super low this whole, this whole time. So Amoeba, obviously, as early surge, you also want to be in Torrent or low health, but again, it just makes the Martha fight kind of scary, so um, Amoeba's in deep, pretty good health here for Martha. Um, something like Poison Powder hit wouldn't, wouldn't be the end of the world. I mean, if he got, like, kick hit on Oddish, kick miss, Poison Powder hit, and then... Oh! Kadira. Uh-oh. Is that it? Yeah, it, it, I think I think it might be. Yeah, it doesn't have a revive. Yeah, he's probably. Damn. Yeah, GG. Oh, rip Kadir. I guess he didn't save for for Martha. Martha's a very dangerous fight. I mean, again, the thing is, is he could. You could run back in theory, uh, buy another repel and run back, but. I mean, you're, you're losing minutes, so... Um, and considering third place just gets eliminated, I think, yeah, I think your kid here is just gonna DNF here, unfortunately. Yeah. Again, when you're not qualifying based on time, when it's... you have to get second, at yeah. least, it's... It's just position. 
that oh, the Martha fight is brutal. Very, very rough. Alright, so Randall's out of uh, Rock Tunnel now. Heading over to Lavender Town. So we're probably going to be switching over to dual screens, unfortunately, because of Kadir. Um, Kadir had a good, had a, he, Kadir definitely had a solid, making it to round three. Um, but these races are just going to be so tight at this point, you know, you just, you can't really have, you know, three minute loss things happen to you, so. That is the nature of this game. Martha has, has claimed a few lives this tourney. But I'm guessing Kadir also with Truly just forgot, like Truly just forgot that um, he didn't have any pokes for revive. Which is one of those things where like you sorta have to, if you go into Martha with no pokes alive, you sorta have to save. Um, unless you're like super, like full health, then maybe you can just commit to trying to bite four times, but if you if you don't have any pokes to revive, it's yeah, you're it's not the greatest set. So Randall here with nine health, um, which Quick attack does seven to eight there, so <laughs> that's a little scary. But um, I think he only dies to one in sixteen there. But um, that would have been pretty pretty crazy if that did happen, though. But so he's at one health here, which is uh, which is should be fine for a, a, most of the fights remaining in this area. But um, okay, he's just gonna push him, yeah. Yeah, he'll be in, yeah, he'll be in Mega Punch range after Evolution for sure. So you're obviously not gonna risk that. You would you would probably risk it in any percent. All right, Randall, calm down. Stop <laughs> <laughs> getting really sketched out by the rocket there. The, the the issue with a lot of um, optionals in this game is that majority of them are easy to avoid. Um, but the problem is is when you hit one like that one, you it gets in your head and then you. You start thinking about it every time you do it, but it's really, it's, I mean, it's easy movement to miss, to avoid that guy, but you just think about like, oh, well, if I hit him, you know. It's like five Pokemon or something. It's, it's just over, you know, but. Because right now, now that, the, now that there's no, um, third, now that third place has been determined for this race, um, because Kadir DNF'd, uh, both these runners are basically just competing for a sub 210 29 in order to advance. So obviously you would want to get pot one um, for I guess I guess pot one is also um, you can get pot two even if you win I think right uh, yeah it, so maybe not but and Randall okay Randall does the backup there. Yeah, okay. But yeah, pot one's probably the, the top three times. Yeah.
I mean, it's still. I, I believe. I believe it's still feasible for Randall to get that. I mean, I'm not exactly sure on Randall's late surge p pace, but it is. His pace has been pretty good, so. Um, but it's still early. We still have half the run to go. A lot can still happen. As Randall's fighting one of the uh, the guards guarding Giovanni. So again, I think both these runners in the, in their in this their situation should just I mean they're just basically competing against Truly at this point. Um, Truly is on the the border of um, getting eliminated based on being the worst second place time. So as long as both these runners, either one of these runners beats Truly's time, they'll they'll they should still be able to advance. So I think. I think it's not really worth it to go too crazy YOLO. Um, again, you don't want to have situations where you die and lose three minutes, you know? So, um, I think the race is going to be a little more straightforward from here. So that was another reason for Randall to heal, was, yeah, this Arbok, um... Doesn't faint to... Yeah, it hit, it also hits you, and... You know, it can poison stink poison you and kill you at, at, like, a decent amount of health, so... So, I, I don't actually know if Randall has Torrent for... I don't... No, he's not gonna have Torrent for Evolution. Unfortunately. Those time. As uh, as Amiba was just entering the hideout. All right, so let's see how Giovanni goes here. I would say Amiba's definitely looking a lot more confident um, in his movement and execution. Um, that's that is the question, Amiba. Um, if you bought extra X items, you could probably, yeah. I mean, if you have an extra, if you have extra X items, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. But. But it did happen in this turn, a 1% Mega Kick miss did, did actually happen, which is very rare. Again, yeah, it's a 1% chance, so... Ooh, Randall getting Fake Out, which is really good here, actually. Uh, wow, nice fight. Basically, Fake Out puts you into Torrent, so you can two-shot the Kangaskhan, whereas... He was at a health where... He was not in Torrent, so... Randall getting a, yeah, getting a good fight there. You can lose a lot of time on that, uh, Kangaskhan. Um... You know, three-shotting with, 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 uh, with Water Pulse can be slow. A lot of times you'll get Water Pulse into Confuse, and then, you know, you gotta wait for him to, you know, do the Confuse turns, and then, you know, Confuse hurts off, doesn't do any, doesn't really help you at all, so... I mean, it can a little bit, but it's just slow. But because it's not a rival or gym trainer, uh, Giovanni doesn't have... Pokemon doesn't have kill AI, so it's not guaranteed to do anything. It can do basically anything. It can do Hail Whip twice, it can Mega Punch twice, it can... You, know, you just never know what it's gonna do. So it's gonna be a little more relevant for Amoeba now, because Amoeba's gonna be at pretty high health um, for Giovanni. Because you generally want to have you want to be around the same health for the next rival fight. 
Unless you decide to change strategies. Um, but generally speaking, you're not going to see X spec strats for Lavender Rival because it's it can be a little riskier. Um, X attack Mega Kick strats are much more consistent, especially when you are al allowed to get the allowed to get the Max Ether. He, yeah, Amoeba did hit Dan. Do Trying to do the Shiru pass, which is un which was unfortunate. Yeah, so one of our racers had to DNF. Um, he basically got a death that would have cost him two or three minutes. So it's the race is a little too close that you you kind of yeah it did not finish. Yeah, so he he died with not knowing that his revive was useless. So. And he didn't save, so you, yeah, again, you, he'd have to go all the way back through Rock Tunnel. And he was already behind by a, a good amount, so it's just... And third doesn't advance, so... Oh, well, the, the pass and and n was, yeah, I mean, he did a, he did a... He did the TM case bag in the spot where you would start Flash, and then instead of... And then he, like, it ate his right input, so he just sprinted up and then back down. But yeah. Alright, so Randall checking cans. Okay, Randall just YOLO Ooh. or well maybe that's not a YOLO. I actually don't know. That that could be that could be safe. That if maybe maybe Randall knows more than we do. I I don't that I don't I don't think that's safe. I, I it's safe to do it on the right side, but I mean I could be wrong, but Ooh, Randall getting really good cans. Alright, so Amoeba's at third, 53 here. Um, I believe the Kangaskhan range is 21 to 25, so he's safe from two Mega Punches. Um, Fake Out is not gonna give him Torrent, so that's actually really bad. Um, okay, Bite's gonna... Okay, he's, okay, he's fine here. So now he's gonna try for Flinch. Bite again. Alright, so now this is just potion. Alright, so that that could have potentially been bad. Um, luckily he got bite instead of mega punch. Um, mega punch there is really bad because you're dead to another mega punch and you don't you're not gonna kill, so. Alright, so we'll start to see these runners converge a little bit on time. Um, yeah, at uh, the tower. Late surge and early surge, yeah, entering the tower is gonna be the closest that it'll be for a little bit. Um, late surge does a little bit more, some more menus, and they also get the T, so. Um, but at this point in time, Randall does have a pretty good lead here over Amoeba. Alright, so Amoeba saw in the, saw in the nugget. He's gonna be buying extra X items, eight X accuracies, okay, and five guard specs. On normal attempts, you don't buy that many X accuracies, but for maximum safety, uh, he's probably gonna be going for double X act on fights where one X act only gives you 93% for Blizzard, so. It's a smart play of getting selling nugget and getting blizz uh, getting more. All right, so Randall had the tower enter of one oh eight thirty nine. As Amoeba's going to fly, so Amoeba just has to do a menu after a fly menu and some other stuff, and then fly to tower, and then and then he'll have caught up to where Randall's at, basically. So. Randall entering the rival fight. Again, he did save, um, but with guard spec strats, it's, again, you're very, very, very likely not to die. Um, but you can always get crit by this bird. Um, 
Randall's health is actually a, was a little low, but not too bad. Um, getting sand there is actually good. Pushing the fort. Oh, that's, in that's interesting. Alright, hits the kick. Amoeba, Amoeba not gonna be saving. I mean, again, it's very, very, very unlikely to die on this fight. Because um, even if you get crit, you can just heal. Um, if you need to, but... Again, he's and he's again he's not guaranteed to use gust or quick attack. He can stand attack too, which is what the guard spec is for. So sand again here. Okay, no, he gets quick attack. Okay, so he's actually double. Okay, that's good. That's actually that's perfect. Um, his health would have been a little high if he didn't get quick attack there, but this is actually perfect health, so this is good. All right, good. Should be pretty good health for Koga, for Amoeba. It'll be a little high, but... Uh, it should slip a torrent. It'll be, yeah, it'll be torrent still. No. Um, but something that you want to consider is you, you want to try to have torrent for Koga, Blaine, and Erica. So, which is why having Squirtles with good defense and high HP really help. Yeah. Because then there's more values that are that are torn. And there's a lot of like, you know, there's 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 two options for the Koga fight um, that you can do. Uh, one of them involves using bite for surfing, and the other one involves going for the surf range. And a lot of times when you're high HP and you go for the surf range. If you hit it, you, you don't you're not you're not gonna take any damage, so um, which could potentially um, kick you out of torrent for Blaine potentially and, and then especially Erica. One of the biggest reasons why running Rash not one of the reasons biggest reasons why people don't like running mild is is for the Koga fight. Um, so you have a lot less leeway to be out of sludge range as compared to rash and modest. Even with even with good defense, you're still going to be taking a good amount more. So rash and modest just give you a lot more flexibility for that fight. Because a lot of what makes a, a, a big skill in this game is health management. It's like a big it's, it's a big deal. Knowing how to knowing how to manage your health throughout the run. Looking ahead to fights in the future, to know if you're uh, if you're safe or not. So there's only the only unpredictable things that can happen now for Amoeba in terms of health management is the two the Raticate and the Ratata at the end of this on the very last trainer of this split um, have a chance to quick attack, which is going to alter his plan, because um, right now his plan is looking like he doesn't have to do anything, he's just gonna level out of sludge range and still have torrent, um, but if he happens to get one or two quick attacks, it could change the trajectory, which again, which is why we, which is why runners pick up the Orenberry, because 10 health is, is gonna be the perfect amount to heal um, in situations where you're, you know, around 21, 22, 23, but if you potion, it's going to be too much, so... Yeah, that'll be um, other part. So Orenberry is very, very useful, but right now I believe he has perfect health for, for, for Koga. It all just depends on what uh, the rats do. Yeah. Usually you can fix it with, like, if you're too low, you can potion, or if you're not, if you're a little low, you can Orenberry. Um, 
But you again, you want to try to have torrent. Um, you have you 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 want torrent for this split and for Koga. It's it's and usually you can stall. The biggest, the most consistent way to stall is to water gun the Gyarados on the rival fight because it, because it's gonna thrash you. Um, which is like a simple way to take damage. Um, the other way is, I mean, you can stall on the Marowak, but again, the Marowak's not guaranteed to hit you, so that's not great either. So Randall's gonna be, Randall looks like he's about one fight ahead of Amoeba, um, and then he's also gonna be slightly ahead because of um, um, grabbing the T and, and being in, uh, and being able to fly to Saffron as well, so. But, but Amoeba's not that, not that far behind. It's, it's very reasonable here. Uh, Randall is at, actually Randall, oh actually that's very good. That quick attack is very good. I think Randall's health is actually not the best. So now, now Randall should be able to Orin very, so that, that's a very, very good quick attack there. Um, oh, 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 water guns. So Randall's gonna get the Poke Flute and then head over to uh, Snorlax. Alright, so Amoeba here. Again, still has good health. Uh, there's one Pokemon that can mess with his health now, but it's not the end of the world. Again, quick attack there. I mean, you can just Orenberry and be fine, but it's obviously slower to Orenberry. I mean, you need it just for safety, but you you don't want to use it because it's yeah, it's just, it's just you're just losing time for no reason. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see what pass Amoeba does on these bikers. I mean, I'm almost positive Randall's gonna do the complete safe double bag manip. Um, a lot of times you can do a hybrid start flash and one bag manip. Um, Randall's doing the harder one. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Randall, no. Are. So it's that's scary. the harder one to do, because if you don't press left... Yeah, he easily could have been hit there. Or, actually, no, he probably froze the top one, so he was probably okay. But that was, I mean, it looked a little scary. Alright, get the items. For Randall, came to T for Amoeba. So the optimal pass here for the bikers involves two start flashes, um, but you need to time it correctly. Um, you also need to react very well to quick spins. Um, if you don't, if you do both of those things, then the, the pass is very simple. Um, but the pressures of the tourney and and you know it's not the end of the world if you hit these guys, but it is slow, so you, know, you never want to hit an optional in, it, in in this game, so. Alright, Randall in the Safari Zone. Oh, nice yeah, passes. So Fine, Amoeba. Amoeba doing the optimal start flash pass. I would say execution-wise, Amoeba's definitely been been playing a... Uh, in, the, in the last, you know, 30 minutes, has been playing a lot. Has better execution right now than Randall does. Um... But again, when you're behind, I think you you tend to try to play more optimally and better. Um, when you have a lead, I think you can be a little more nervous to try to keep that lead, you know, so. But again, these runners really just need to... are really only worried about beating the 210-29. Um, so they really shouldn't be that nervous in general. But, you know, anything can happen in any fight, so, I mean, after what happened to me yesterday, I'm, <laughs> I would probably recommend that they save on Koga. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Even though save. I usually don't, I, I never, I've never saved on Koga, because generally speaking, you, with two revives, you're going to be able to win the fight, but um, you never know, so you never know what can happen.
having two revives is also okay. So Amoeba is actually going to skip the second revive, which which is which is which is fine. Um, with race routes, um, Erica is going to be a little more consistent with good HP um, because most runners most runners are going to do the safe the safe option for Erica rather than the risky one um, because it is very very consistent. Um, but if you happen to be in a situation where you level out of Torrent for Erica and you don't have Torrent, then you have to go for the risky strat. So it's nice to have a second revive, just because if you have if you use one on Koga, which is it's again it's not Koga is some you you use a revive on Koga a decent a decent amount. So um, if you happen to die on Koga and use your first revive, you have a second revive for Erica in the case that you again are your health is too high. So. Um, and it only takes, you know, a second or two to pick up that revive, so it's really not the end of the world, but... Uh, Amoeba opting to not... Amoeba opting to not grab it, which is not not crazy. Um, I mean, you can also always... You can also save for Erica as well, if you want to. Um, but most of the time, um... Just like with Mega Kick, trying to hit Blizzard is not the greatest in the world. It's worse than Mega Kick, so... We're trying to rely on it is not the best. Okay, so Randall opting not to not to save, which again is makes total sense with two revives. <clears throat> I mean every time you think about saving, right, it's like saving is pretty slow, so. I mean, it, it adds up, so... You definitely Amiibo doing... Don't. Sorry, uh... You definitely just... want... Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. I was just gonna say, Amoeba did the nice the nice pass there on the... Oh no! Randall missed into oh, poison, poison to dead. Okay. Uh, but... Um... So this is fine. Um, he's going to... Revive now. Um, he doesn't have Torrent, so he's gonna have to gonna have to expect, I believe. I right, oh. okay. Oh, that's not good. All right, so now he's in a little bit of trouble. This is looking like my fight. This is looking oh, wow. like my fight yesterday. This is pretty similar. Uh oh. This is this is not looking great. This is okay. So now, um, wow. Oh, it's over! Oh my god! Oh, he's gonna run back! Oh no! He revived oh, the Pidgey! No. Oh, oh no. dude, no! Like... No, dude! Oh my god! Okay, Damn. wow, wow. He's gonna have to fly back now. Wow, dude. As Amoeba gets through. And Amoeba gets the range. Damn. Wow. The two opposites. Well, I mean, that was pretty bad. That was not as bad as mine yesterday, but, I mean, he also revived the Pidgey on accident, so... Yeah. Um... Okay, then. And he double bag now. Okay. Um, let's see. What do you do here? I mean, he's gonna have to fly back. Um, he... He did lose a good amount of time there. The other thing to note is he also is full health now. Um, yeah. Which is very bad um, and slow, so um, we're just gonna see. Um, I believe he's still ahead of Truly. Um, he's just yellowing the pass there, okay. It's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, so Truly also wiped, so... I would say it's it's it right now it's Randall's got to compete with Truly's time even more now. So after that happened, um, but again this it's also like this thing, the fact that he doesn't have Torrent. I mean this is gonna mess with the next three fights here. So um, he's gonna want to get damage. I mean Poison here is actually probably pretty good because um, he he needs to get lower health for Blaine and Erica because. He can get trolled on both, um, so he's uh, not opting to expect. Which okay, he, okay, he's gonna expect here. Um, 
Toxic miss, okay. Um, actually not getting damage here. He missed again, okay. Sludge poison here would be good. No poison, um... Okay, so he's he's plus one, so the Weezing's gonna be a two-shot here, but... I mean, I don't know, man. You, you kinda needs to get poison here. He needs to take damage. I mean, you could stall, but... You can't end this fight at 101. That's not the greatest. Um, oh no, it does kill with plus one. Okay. Uh, okay. So Randall's gonna have some some issues. Um, yeah, Randall's gonna have some issues here. Um, yeah, yeah, I was just thinking like, well, it was probably still a range then. It's not going to be guaranteed. Yeah, it was still 11 and 16. That, yeah, that was still 11 and 16, yeah. Um, but I'm actually surprised he didn't try to stall there. Um, the issue here, again, the, the problem here is that he needs to expect on Blaine. Um, the problem is, is that, although he might be, I think it's probably, I think it's 50-50 for takedown versus fire blast, but... Fire Blast Burn is really bad. That can also cause a lot of problems. Um, he's also gonna be forced to probably Blizzard twice on Erica because again he doesn't have Torrent. He's not even close. Um, and the 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 Growlithe isn't gonna do enough damage to really get him close. So um, I mean, I guess you could no since because again these these these. He's, we, we don't have a full heal, and Randall goes on the shore, okay? We don't have a full heal or a burn heal, so... The biggest risk here is Fire Blast Burn. Um, which is bad for a lot of reasons. The biggest one being you have to burn your full restore, or, or you have to center. Um, which again means that you're not even close to Torrent, so... So it's Amoeba, right Amoeba's, Amoeba's, Amoeba's coasting right now, um, and Randall risked, Randall has risked about five encounter tiles on this split, um, but I mean, you could, you can understand that Randall's probably visibly frustrated and, and flustered, because that was a very strange yeah. thing, that was a very bad fight, um, Uh, so the only thing to note with Amoeba is Amoeba's health is a little high, um... I don't believe he's gonna have Torrent for Erica, which means he's also gonna have to double Blizzard. Um, I can- I can double check, um, but it doesn't, doesn't look like is, that. It's level 40, 44. 44. Yeah, so 44. I'm pretty sure yeah. he's gonna be yeah. out, um... Which is not the greatest, um... You wanna have Torrent for the Victory Bell, because it allows you to do the, the safety expect expect strats um but with this one you have to hit at least one blizzard um let's see he's at yeah he should be out 5 8 38 yeah yeah that's not the greatest Blizzard it is. Alright, time to say no to Bell. And the, the, the problem here, I believe, is that... Um, I, I mean, I can check the notes, but... When you when you miss Blizzard on Victory Bell and get paralyzed, and you get paralyzed, and then get Giga Drain, I believe it... It's gonna put you in, in Tangela range, so... It means you can't even do the safety strat anyways. Um, but I actually could be I could be wrong. It actually it actually might be okay. Uh, will he do that? I don't know. Um, we will see. Again, it's a benefit one of one of the benefits of having good special defense. 
Okay, so the vial... I don't have the... Actually, I don't have the victory bell buying up ranges on here, but... I mean, Amoeba's probably just gonna... Amoeba, Amoeba does have his revive still, so... Um... And being out of Torrent isn't the end of the world after this fight, because you're gonna be healing to a decent range anyways. At least for Amoeba, he's probably gonna heal to around... Probably want to heal to around 95. Um, to basically commit to double XAC on the next fight, um, instead of single XAC, so... Okay, he did not candy the, the bird. That's good. Nice. Yeah, this is just a non this is just a, a weird health. But if he manages to hit both blizzards, he can just super potion to 97 and then be in good shape for double exec. Okay, Randall stalling on the Arcanine is interesting. Okay. Um yeah. I was actually not watching him, but I'm assuming he just got, probably just got takedown. Or takedown a miss or fire blast miss or something. So Randall's health is a little better. Um, a little bit more reasonable. Both these running, both these runners having to hit two blizzards on this fight is th th this is the worst case scenario. You 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 really don't, especially in a race, you don't want to have to blizzard this victory ball. Okay, he gets past the first one. So in theory, he could expect, and oh no no he can't. Never mind. He doesn't have torrent. Yeah, he's so he's, so he's gonna have to hit this this uh, he's gonna have to hit another one here. It is also. It is interesting to note too that if he happens to miss here, he he is dead to two nice. giga drains. But it doesn't matter. He's just a god and hits both. So there you go. Very nice. Very nice for Amoeba. I think he got a crit as well, just for style points. See if Randall has similar luck. So maybe on, still on pretty pretty solid pace right now. Um, because again, you never know what's gonna. There's there's E4 can have such a massive swing. Um, you can gain or lose like a minute on La on uh, on Lorelei based on you know Hailless or I mean you can get Body Slam Para over and over and Confuse Ray and hurt self over and over again. So, but you can also get Flinch and Crit and and save a ton of time. So, um... okay, Amoeba doing the Walker Pass. So yeah, like I thought, Amoeba is going to be supering instead of double potioning here, um, because he's going to be going for the double X, double X act. Um, and to be honest with you, it's probably safe to still save, um, although you can avoid it. Um, you're really only saving because of crit on uh, on the the, the pidget damage. Um, but it would be maximum safety, considering his lead here, to 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 just save. Um, Alright, Amoeba's got a little slow on that walker turn, but... Or that rotator turn, but... Ooh, nice. Oh, missed by Randall. Alright. Now I be believe... I believe Randall should be safe from two Giga Drains, so he can miss again and have it be okay. Um, yeah, okay. Obviously you don't want that, but... Okay. Right, nice. Alright, so now... Randall is in 
if Randall decides to go for double X sack, I don't actually know if he will. If he does, he's in good super potion range here. Uh, if he doesn't, he'll probably just go for double potion. Alright, and Amoeba is chilling. So with two X accuracies, uh, it makes Blizzard guaranteed, so he doesn't have to worry about missing here. Um, obviously with one, it's a 93%, so it is it is places in the this is a place in the run normally where you can die if you get pretty un super unlucky. Um, missing on the Venusaur basically just means you're gonna get Razor Leaf and you're gonna die. Um, Missing on the Gyarados is not as bad, although because it's not guaranteed to Dragon Rage you, but you can still die if you get Dragon Rage. Yeah, double X-Ac on this fight is, has been sort of a somewhat of, of a newer development recently, um, for races at least, like to make it a little, make the fight a, a little bit better. You just have to potion slightly above where you would normally potion. So right now, the only one that's really, I mean, I, I guess truly is probably the only person that's, you know, the thing that happened to Randall was pretty bad, so, you know, truly's definitely hoping to continue to advance, um, but he needs Randall to have more bad things happen to him, so... I don't believe Randall's going for... No, Randall's not going for double x -Sack. He also did not save, so this is actually kind of scary. Yeah, did he Elixir instead of Max Elixir? If he did, it, he's, it, it, he's screwed. Or he's gonna have to... He elixered? Oh, uh, that's not good. Yeah, it does. It does. It does matter. I actually did it a couple weeks ago, and yeah, it actually does matter. You run out of uh, your stuff. Yeah, but he, yeah, I think he he'll he'll figure it out. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. That is true. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay, Amoeba on Kanga. Fits the range. And he's through. Yeah, the the wipe and center you know, replenished everything to full. So yeah, I, I mean I'm I mean I'm assuming he didn't mean to do that, obviously, but. Um... So Amiibo's gonna have a nice clean Sabrina. Um, again, he's 30 speed in Carbo, so he's gonna outspeed. Uh, he has Torrent, so he doesn't have to worry about anything. Except for, I guess, accidentally going in the wrong portals, but... So this fight only really becomes scary when your speed is low. Um, if your speed is too low, then you have to X speed. Um, and the, the most optimal place to X speed is on the, the Venomoth. The problem is, is that Psybeam has a chance to confuse you and you can, you can just die. Uh, it's unlikely, but it can happen. Uh, the backup is you can X speed on the Kadabra, but you need to be out of range. You, you can't be, your health can't be too low. 
Um, but that's what mo most runners will X-Speed on Kadabra. They have to X-Speed on this fight. Uh, because they don't want to risk the Confuse from the Venomoth. Thankfully he has enough speed though, so he just cruises through. And isn't far. One of the reasons why 30 is so good is that, again, you don't have to worry about, um... Uh... You don't have to worry about doing Josh, you don't have to worry about much, you know, like you just commit to doing Carbos, whereas with 31, you can't really, you can't really Carbos on 31 speed because of Bruno, um, you're committing to a strat that is, can go pretty bad and slow, so, mo most runners will opt to, if they, if they are 31 speed, they will opt to, and they cannot get Bubble and Josh, they will commit to just not getting the Carbos and just X-speeding on Kadabra. It's just much better to do. Because guard spec strats on Bruno are not the greatest in the world. Mainly because of Rock 2 miss. And Rock 2 also doing not a, not a lot of damage. Because um, you never know where your health's going to be after Lapras on Lorelei. So if your health is too high and you have to do guard spec strats, it's just, it's just really slow. And then you may end up not even getting Torrent. I mean, you'll go to plus four and not have to, not have Torn for Agatha and then not having Torn for the Agatha is really slow because you got it expect a lot more and then yeah, it's yeah. just not and you got to hit through double team more it's just it yeah, it's all bad I think it's three instead of one so X specials for Agatha yeah that they don't want to do that and it's four on Bruno so um, I mean you buy extra X items in race so you're gonna have enough but I mean, again, most most of the time you can work around not having torrent um, or low speed and stuff, but generally it's just going to lose you a lot of time. All right, so Amoeba in the slowest portion of the game, which is the Giovanni gem split. Um, Press A and win. I mean, there's there's one menu. There's a fly menu you have to do. Um, but most of the time, when you don't when you don't X speed, you're already on escape rope anyways. So you can just enter the bag, escape rope. If you if you did X speed, you have to go back up to escape rope. But outside of that, that bag and useless crits and move selection, there's n you really can't lose or gain any time on the split. Yeah, the Giovanni split's definitely pretty boring. The only the only thing that would make it spicy is if, if you if you happen to not have Torrent for this split, um, then it can be very spicy because it's really tricky. Um, but you just you got to change your move order a little bit. But yeah, like most things, uh, just faint to surf. I'm pretty sure um, instead of water pulse. See, I'm surprised most people don't have a rival one split. I've always had a rival one split for my for my runs, just because it is getting the Squirtle. You know, is definitely a whole section of the game. You know, like so. And it also it, you know, it it, it makes it yeah. Well, it, it it the thing with having a rival one split versus just having a Brock split is it it also makes the Brock split gold like a little bit more pure because. Um, yeah, like you aren't just and waiting for... Yeah, because if you wait for a late Squirtle or an early one, you know, like, your, your Brock split times are going to be so much different, but... Um... Oh, well, Amoeba does not have Torrent. I actually thought about that. I was... But it's it, it's fine, but I, I actually... Yeah. I thought his health was a little too high. Um, again, when you go into silf rival with super high defense and super high hp so you uh you're not gonna take a ton of damage so amoeba's actually pretty kind of low on surfs here um there is a backup to this if he just happens to not have enough for the next fight um well there's two backup okay so he has no surfs okay so that's not good so there's a few options here. 
Well, he, he, he can also, you can also use the elixir here and then just grab the backup um, max ether before victory road, or, or before e4. Uh, but you could center too, yeah. I think the max ether would probably be faster than center, but um, yeah, it is it, it is a good option to just center here. Considering you know amoeba's amoeba's not really sweating the rest of. Um, I mean you could I mean you obviously the biggest sweat would be probably Eric or probably be Agatha, um, but he's in a pretty good position here. Um, again, he just has to beat either win, beat Randall, or beat 210, 29, so. And his pace is definitely much faster than, than that right now, so. Not saving here, too, which again is not crazy either. Uh, again, with extra X items. Um, it allows you to, if you wipe, you can come back and, and do X item fights again. Um, he also has the option to uh, double X act, which is what he's doing. And double X act is completely fine here. Um, it just kind of locks you into X speeding on Growlithe, but the Growlithe isn't going to do much to you, so. Although I think now, actually, if he gets growl damage, then he, he, he I think he, he should be out of range of, of psychic here. So, but you obviously don't want to try to do that. You can avoid it. It's. Oh no, he are no, he is gonna get damage from from Alakazam. So yeah. Um, but majority of the time, the growl will just use agility. So. But he will be in, yeah, he'll be in psychic range. Um, so yeah, he's gonna have to X speed. Okay, he just gets flinch, okay. Alright. So now Randall's on with the gem as well. Yeah, Randall really not that far behind, um, considering... I mean, Randall's pace before Koga was really, really good, so... Um, even with completely wiping, um, he's still in a decent spot. Pidgey still causing him problems, though? <laughs> Try to he, is gonna he is gonna save, too. I think this makes sense. Um, I think as you get closer in, he's gonna have to assess his pace compared to Truly, and see if he needs to YOLO anything more. Um, again, the only thing that matters to Randall is just getting sub Truly. So Randall not opting for double x act here. Um, I don't think he actually has enough x acts to do that, so... Is Randall in Razor Leaf, damn... Is Randall in Razor Leaf range? Uh, let's see... 31... No. No, max is 74, so... Unless he gets crit. Alright, so he hits. Good. It's rain dance. Quite nice. So now with rain dance, you can opt to avoid the X speed on Growlithe here because um, he is not in psychic range. 
he's m w super far away from psychic range, so. So this, the the Alakazam is gonna either use disable or call mind most of the time. <clears throat> And the rain will allow him to one-shot the Alakazam. Sable miss. Azamiba is starting to push boulders. The reason you X-speed on Growlithe there is because if the Alakazam is going to outspeed you. So if it outspeeds you and use Calm Mind, then the Surf doesn't... I think the Surf becomes a range or it doesn't kill. So you have to... But the rain allows you to... Yeah. Rain's gonna up, up up the up the damage of your, of your water moves. All right, coming into the final portion here. So I think the biggest barrier right now to both runners is gonna be gonna be Agatha. Um, Agatha is gonna have the highest chance to make these runners lose a lot of time. I think Randall, Randall specifically, um, can't really afford that much time loss now. Um, so he's really oh Randall's yeah Randall's Ooh. movements gotta be careful. Okay, so Randall's probably gonna get an encounter. Oh yeah. Uh, how close is Randall's time to uh, Trulies? Does anyone know? If, you know uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll bring up the VOD and and match the time and see. I don't think so. Was it PSR TV one or two? But he is he is clearly ahead now, so of of Truly's time. Alright, need a good tail. I think that was turn two. Alright, so I've got the VOD for Truly's run, um, and it, the times are synced up perfectly, so I'll let you guys know um, where Truly is in, in relation to Randall um, as we start to get closer and closer here. Um, Thanks for the raid etiquettes. Uh, thank you. So right now Truly is on the boulder push, the second boulder push. Um, so he's definitely behind, but um, again, you just don't know. I'm again we're we're, we're unsure what Randall's how Randall's gonna play E4, um, whether he plays it risky or safe. But I think a death, an E4 death from Randall definitely is gonna make it a little scary. 
Yeah. So me bet 60 here for the Lapras, so that... So he is in... Key okay, he's risking crit here. Uh, I'm pretty sure crit is... Is yeah, he barely he is, safe? Yeah, he, oh. risked, he risked crit death there, which I don't agree with at all, but it is the... I mean, it's optimal to not do that, but I think most people would have probably probably full restored there, um, but he risked it, so... I'm confused, right? Because if you die and if you die to crit there, you lose like three minutes, so it's quite bad. Okay... I think Randall's avoided. Oh, there's Hale. Oh, he, okay. He went for Poker Guy strats. Okay. So now he's just gonna bite again, and then he in, he didn't avoid Hale, unfortunately, but um, which is good for Truly. Um, Randall's also gonna have to probably heal. Um, out of full restore range here, or out of, uh, well he's gonna be in body slam range, so he's gonna have to heal regardless. Uh, truly starting Lorelei now. Alright, so he has some time. Yeah, yeah, so right now, uh, no, no, so... Well, Amoeba's in the lead. Again, in order for Randall to qualify for the next round, he has to beat Truly's time. So I have Truly's run from yet from uh, whatever yesterday or whatever it was. Um, so I'm comparing the two runs because it is decently close. So, all right, nice HP for Amoeba. Because again, be Randall needs to Randall needs to beat Truly's time in order to advance. If he if if Randall doesn't beat Truly's time, then Truly will advance. Um, okay, on, on to Lapras. Nice flinch. Okay. Nice double punch, but really high HP now. Oh, I guess the timers are probably messed up, yeah. By 30 seconds or so, but well, I mean, we'll know. We'll know generally when it, when it gets close. Randall opting to save on Bruno, which is... Interesting, um, which is an interesting decision. So we we will see, because obviously a death here is pretty slow and may allow Truly to catch up a little bit. So okay, Randall opting for. Regular X spec strats. Um, he may have to guard spec. Yeah, he's gonna have to guard spec. Um, it's not gonna be enough. So, Randall opting for guard spec. Hopefully, he doesn't get rock to miss. It's hit. Rock perfect. Hit. And he's good. Right. Um, obviously, uh, earthquake there is bad, but. Uh, he's. He's perfect health now. So Randall getting a pretty good fight. Yeah, it's too bad the, the timers are messed up. I, I mean, that that was a, I, I feel like that was a good idea. What I what I was doing, but yeah, I, Truly's timer was in his race. Yeah, it was messed up by like thirty seconds or something. So I think a lot of a lot of this is going to come down to what happens with Agatha, for sure. Um, you can he can play pretty safe on. So it's so it's so it is thirty seconds, right? 
I can also move the timer 30 seconds ahead. Would that, would that make sense? If I move... Or I'd have to move Truly's timer back 30 seconds, right? I don't know. I, I think. I think. <laughs> I think that seems right. Move, move, move. Truly's race time back 30 seconds to know exactly where it is, where they are in comparison. But I mean, right now it's looking like. I mean, again, it's still looking like, I mean, if Randall gets through right now. Oh, well, here it is. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Shadow Punch. Okay, Shadow Punch again. That's Torrent. I think this is upper... No, this might be upper range of... Okay, no, he's got it. He's got it. So just one double team, I think. Gets through. All right, that's, that's really good. That's what, that's what Randall needed. And if he has enough X-Ax, he should probably go for a double X-Ax on Lance, too. Oh, nice crit. Wow. Amoeba Amoeba's got turn. some good crits this run. He crits... He crit the Sandshrew, he crit the... Um... Grimer, he crit this Gyarados. If he had crit the Muck, then that would have completed the whole thing. Did Amiibo double act? Do you know? Uh, probably. If I had to guess. Um, I don't think he would risk a death here. Alright, Amiibo's through. Obviously, double X act is pretty slow, but... Um... Oh, did Randall not save on Lance? I guess that's... I guess that that's fine if he doesn't... Uh, Kadir, Kadir, unfortunately, had the DNF, um, he died to Martha, um, didn't realize that he didn't have pokes to use his revive, so his revive became useless and he had to run back, so he just lost, he was already behind, so he just, yeah, it was unfortunate, but that is how it goes. Say, say that's exactly what happened to Truly, too, pretty much. Okay, All right, did, champion time. Did Amoeba save or no? I guess not, huh? Or no? I don't oh god. So. He didn't save. Okay, that's a little scary. Um... So Amoeba definitely wants to see... Sand here. Um, wants to avoid Aerial Ace crit, but... I mean, yeah, that's that's really scary. I, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really like that play. Um, he's trying to get pot one, but again, it's like if you... Eh, no, you would not do that. You're risking... Again, you're risking Blizzard. Blizzard miss, but... Unless he gets growth here, then he could do, he could do two, if he has two. No, he doesn't have two. Okay, uh... He's got two chances to hit here now, so... Nice. Let's see it. Good. Now he can just heal on Gyarados if he wants to be extra safe, and then he's through. He should be... He'll, he's out of crit range for, for Thrash here. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, if he gets... Yeah, like Thrash and then like crit E-speed or something. Like both yeah. of those. Or Thrash, enough. I mean, yeah, I think Thrash into Thrash crit 
he is in range of, so yeah, he's probably gonna bite here, and then take Thrash, and then heal, and then potentially heal again. I mean, flinch, I think, well, flinch here is just, you know, the nuts, and then, then he just wins. But most likely he's probably gonna have to heal, or he could just risk it, I don't know. I mean, whatever, yeah. I mean... <laughs> we'll see. This is this is crit range for 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 uh, Arcanine. I believe he's dead to crit here. So I mean, I would yeah. I would pull a full restore, but you know, I mean, if he <laughs> wants to be a Chad and not and not full restore, then we'll see. Okay, there he, oh, oh no, doesn't even use it. it. Wow, wow, legend. That's that's lucky. That's good. Nice, GG's Amiibo. What an absolute legend, dude. Alright, as Randall's entry. GG's Amoeba, a, a very, very good run by him. Yeah, GG's. Okay, Randall finishing up as well. I mean, I think if, if Randall didn't die to Surge, uh, I think this time would have been, these two would have been a lot closer, because Randall was really going fast. Um, Two of six, and... 19, all right. There we go. I think that puts him in pot one. I think that's one, what is that? One second over Mockwing? So Mockwing is gonna get pot two. Wow. <laughs> two seconds, wow, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Hello. Hello, Miwa. That is unlucky. I, uh, I dedicate this run to Mockwing, who for some reason decided to tell me how his champ went right before I was making the decision whether to save or not. Thank you, Mackwing. You are a gentleman and kind of a fool. I mean, you're a, you're a Chad for I mean the risks you took not saving and then you didn't save out of crit. I mean that was I mean you got pot one, you got you know it worked out, but I mean your run was amazing, honestly. Like yeah, that was, was weird. Good. One. The uh, the bill split was terrible. Yeah, and rock tunnel was not great. Everything else was like about as good as you could expect. No, it was not guaranteed, Mackling. Yeah, I was definitely playing the gamble, but uh, it's kind of hard to die to champ. Like, I had to kind of start playing, uh, like, like it was very easy to realize that I'd lost enough time at some point and then just play the rest of the fight safe. Like, yeah, E-Speed crit would have killed. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I saw, and I was like, is he going to heal? And then you didn't, I mean, you didn't even get it, which is pretty lucky, too. Yeah. But, but your I mean, with, great. I mean, I think it was a reasonable gamble because now I dodge Wave and Ananan as opponents. Like that's just so good. <laughs> right. GG's Randall got E speed crit, but then healed. All right, which means that Randall will advance on time. Which means, unfortunately, truly is out of the tournament. But Sorry, with really. his with his two ten, I think he. I mean, he expected that. But um... a two ten, it's kind of gross that a two oh nine is the cutoff to get into semis. Like, <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, it was definitely close. But um, I think if Randall had died to Agatha, it could have it could have happened. But. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Yeah, I mean, shout-outs to Kadir as well, like, not saving for Martha was sensible given how much of a de uh, how far behind he was. And I think just he just forgot. I, I think what happened to Truly happened to him. I think he just forgot that he didn't... I don't think he did it on purpose. I think he forgot uh, he didn't have pokes and then he just died, so... But, he was already behind too, but... Yeah. And then, you know, Randall's Koga was pretty bad. Um, yeah, I saw that. That was uh, yeah, I saw that. awful. He was going quite fast as well. 
Yeah, he was a minute ahead of me for a long while. Hey, y'all. Hello. Hello. GG's, Randall. What's up? I said GG's. That was all. GG's. GG's. Oh, thank you. Oh, shit. We were hard. we were sweating a little bit for you on E4 because um, of Truly's time, but um, yeah, I mean your run was great outside of Koga, you know. So yeah, exactly. That's by far the most I've ever been trolled by Muck. That was like mine yesterday. I mean, my, I think yours. I think mine was slightly worse, but I mean, you also revived. I just revived the bird. So. Yeah, that was. That <laughs> so was you didn't get a bad. chance to miss again. But yeah, that was pretty we bad. Um, <laughs> we had very polar opposite mo uh, Koga fights. I'm afraid to say. <laughs> I walked yeah, in, got fine. acid armor, and hit the range on Weezer. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is good. fun. Everyone's scared for this next draw. I'm just glad to somehow make semis. Yeah, it's gonna get even spicier. Um, uh, semis. So we'll, Which pot one racer do I pray for in this garbage? You definitely pray for me. Like, Wave and um, Anna are definitely a step above me. I mean, I, I think I think when you go into it playing sort of YOLO, I think you're which you sort of did in this run. I mean, yeah. you can definitely get pretty good times. I mean. Um, I mean, I played safe. Uh, there was nothing I YOLO'd except for the champ. Like, literally everything else. I mean, I, I've i decided that I'm selling Nugget and buying more X-Accuracies, because I just think it's faster. Like, yep. double x uh Sylph Rival, Viridian Rival, and Lance skips three saves. It's so free. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, it's definitely... That's definitely the right thing to do, regardless. Um, also, having extra potions is, is quite nice, uh, as I'm sure you realize as well. I did not. Uh, I saw people talking about that. I wasn't sure if they're talking about me. I didn't buy extra potions. I only bought seven. But did you? Did you? You sold Rock Tomb, right, or no? No, no. I just. Oh, did? I okay. didn't sell Rock okay. Tomb. I just bought seven. I just never really used them. My start was nuts. <laughs> I got like a high twenty-five Misty. It just all went really well. Yeah, I mean your Brock split was like, I mean, perfect. It's like ideal. It's like super yeah. ideal. And then you got so full, full torrent, and then yeah. you did Rocket got the range, and then you crit the grid, dude. Your early game was crazy, like. And then you, did, I mean, yeah, you, you, oh, you did, yeah, you did die to rival too, yeah. Yeah, I died. I mean, yeah, there was the bridge rival death, and I also hit Dan because I screwed up on the Dan pass. Yeah, but you're. Which in hindsight was because I opened, apparently I opened the TM case. I don't know what I was did, doing yeah. there. Um, but your Missy time for a race was, I mean, that's gotta be, it's gotta be one of the the best ones. Twenty five fifty five, probably mean, the best in the tournament. Yeah. Yeah, I really mean, cool. you don't see that very much. Uh, I think if you didn't die to Rival 2, this could have been, you know, pretty crazy. Yeah, it's only going to get spicier in semis, so... Looking forward to it. And then we'll see if we'll see if any of these runners opt to switch back to Early Surge, but... I'm considering it, I'm not going to lie. I haven't played Early Surge in forever. The I think Wade said he was going to do it, so... Or he's thinking about oh, wow. it, so... Gosh, the one time I did do late surge, like that was the the run that me and you were watching, where I like died to surge three times and ended up with like a two fifteen. Yeah, you, you know the RNG is watching though. Anybody that already has done late surge and like switches to early surge is gonna get ruined. It's only the people that have been doing early surge from the start that are gonna get away with it. Hmm. Okay, that's. <laughs> that's worrying. Not gonna lie. <laughs> that's just my feeling. I'm not gonna lie, but this this game has a conscience. I swear. It's good yeah, thing. it's out to get us. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. hop out because I have All stuff right. to go to. Thank you for right. for having us and a good job on commentary. I listened for like the first two splits and then I just kind of checked out afterwards because I was told it already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then GG's GG though. Amoeba, GG Kadir. I was GG's. hoping we'd get. Could hear all the way to the finals, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll do it for him. Sure. Yeah. Best of luck in the draws. Yeah. They really matter now, so. Yeah, GG's the one. I'm about to get Mach Wing, aren't I? Alright, GG. <laughs> <laughs> we can only pray, Randall. Anon in Mach Wing, Randall. I'm calling I, I'm, it I'm gonna get punished for gambling pot one and get Mach Wing, don't worry. I mean, either way, you're gonna have a chance at getting Mach Wing. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't not. Yeah, you can't win on that one. <laughs> but it was the same for last round, it was like, 
It was either knock Ananan into pot two will be pot one, or leave Anna in pot yeah. one will be pot two. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Right. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna hop out. All right, Just have a good guys. day, have a good night, wherever y'all are. See y'all. See ya. Alright, so that's it. Are we done with the interview? Hmm, thanks for the commentary, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, and this time... See you later in the draft, I assume. Yeah, I think Kid Rock has said the draft will be in 30 minutes. So. Yep, sounds about right. Alright, see you later then. Take care, everyone.